Today on Passport Kings, we're gonna go over the best things to do while in LA. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. My name is Rock Lynn. I'm a travel enthusiast and travel business owner who makes videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations while letting you know how you could get started in the $8 billion travel business for yourself. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ringing the bell so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. There are two different Los Angeleses. Being from New York and before Easy e and them, I only thought of LA as being bright lights of big city, the place where people go to get discovered for movie roles, backlots, and huge movie studios. After NWA and many rap artists that followed, we learned through their music that LA has a culture of its own, and they have their own unique rules. The movies that follow, Boys in the Hood, Minister Society, and Friday, I think gave a really good overview about what to expect in the inner cities of Los Angeles. Also, many people will tell you that the GTA series, Grand Theft Auto, is a pretty accurate rendition of the city's layout. But like in any GTA game, the attitudes are blown out of proportion. I do realize that those movies and depictions were based on the 90s. Almost 30 years later, I can tell you that although a lot of things have stayed the same, a lot of things have also changed. In other words, you can still go to LA to get discovered, but don't get caught slipping. So I've heard. I never got a chance to travel to LA until only a few years ago. When I was younger, it seemed like a new frontier in another world. It was on the other side of the map to me. The flights from the East Coast are sometimes more than five hours. The time zones come into play, however, so when you get there, it'll be three to four hours earlier on your watch than when you left. Of the many times that I've been to LA, I haven't gotten a chance to explore the entire city. I've mostly only gotten a chance to see the more glamorous and tourist attraction -y parts. While there, the process of getting a rental car is very straightforward. Beforehand, you can go to rocklandland.intellitravel.com and click on rent a car, then pick it up as soon as you leave the airport. But there is one huge problem. Driving in LA will drive you insane. <laughs> The people here, especially those with the fanciest cars, have no sense of direction and no regard to the rules of driving safety. The roads and highways are packed. And worse, they are packed with drivers who seem to have paid off DMV for a license instead of taking the time out to learn how to drive. Traffic is bad, bad. Bumper to bumper and full stops on the highway is what's to be expected. When you finally finish a city hopping and get to your parking spot of your hotel, you will let out a very passionate sigh of relief knowing that that fiasco is finally over. LA is absolutely my top pick as the worst place in America to drive. LA is a walking contradiction. You could go down one block and it feels like you are in the richest place in America. But if you make one turn into one off street, you will know immediately that you probably made a mistake and should have learned more about that block before roaming into that neighborhood. All in all, LA is just another American city. Lots of rich people and lots of poor people. The homeless population is very apparent. Some streets, just blocks over from Hollywood Boulevard, are lined with homeless people living in tents and RVs that look like they've been parked there since the gold rush of the 49ers. And I'm not talking about the football team. But all in all, LA does live up to the hype. The weather, for one, is outstanding. It is the most livable and comfortable temperatures made for mankind. I walked down the Hollywood Walk of Fame and tried to read all the names hoping I would recognize some names that were actually relevant to me. There are about eight blocks of stars and I had become bored of reading them by the time I got to the fifth block. The entire street reminded me of either 42nd Street or 125th Street in New York, but from about 15 years ago. It's very busy with mostly tourists who also seem to be visiting for the first time. I've seen the Capitol building and approached the Hollywood sign from many, many angles. The best way to see the Hollywood sign, I think, is to go to the Griffith Observatory. It's almost a puzzle to get a great view and a selfie of the Hollywood sign. The little windy roads that lead into it are blocked off, but once you finally do get there, you not only get a great view of the sign, but you'll also get an impressive view of the city itself, smog and all. And watching the sun go down over the LA mountains is an awe-inspiring sight that everyone should see at least once. I think the only way to really absorb the atmosphere is on foot. And I really love to take long strolls in cities that I've never explored before. 
to just feel what the vibe is like. But LA is just too huge for that kind of exploration. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to get a rental car because you'll be spending a lot on all of the share services like Uber and Lyft. The beaches on the Santa Monica Pier are very exciting. They have a full carnival going on at all times of day and night and every day of the week. Make sure you stop at Pink's. Pink's has creatively topped hot dogs, some named for celebrities, and it draws long lines at this historical roadside spot. The only problem is there are so many inviting items on the menu that you will not get a chance to taste everything. All of the selections that I tried were very good and you will really be missing out if you visit LA and not try them out. We stopped at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and had an excellent meal. In-N-Out Burger is also famous. One of the days I tried burgers there and it was a typical fast food restaurant. It was a cool experience. I would also recommend visiting landmarks like the Beverly Hills sign and the tall tree-lined streets leading up to it. The famous donut spot called Randy's, Universal Studios Hollywood and Disneyland, Rodeo Drive, and of course Santa Monica Pier, and of course the Marathon store that Nipsey Hussle ran. LA is full of tourist attractions, and being from the East Coast, it's exciting to see in real life what you have always just saw on TV. The best part about this getaway is I was able to pay for it using profits that I've been making by becoming an independent travel agent. Using a combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel is the best way I have found to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, travel. Join me and you'll be able to work from home or any location in the world on a part-time or full-time basis just using your laptop and cell phone. There's no experience necessary. All of the training is provided by wonderful people who already had amazing results with helping families financially in the travel industry. If you also love travel, trust me, this will be a no-brainer. Watch the two videos in this link, then contact me to get started. If you just want to take a trip to one of these laps of luxury, let Passport Kings be your agent. LA is full of the most beautiful women in the world. LA topped my countdown list of where to find the most beautiful women in the world when I made that video three years ago. They all migrated here looking for either their big break or a man who was already experiencing fame and fortune. Taking the incredibly large area of Los Angeles into consideration, it's hard to tell a person exactly where to stay. My suggestion is while booking your trips on PassportKings.com that you find the attraction that I mentioned that really interests you and then search over to a hotel that's closest to that attraction. Again, driving around this city is a hassle. The world has plenty of amazing places to visit and although the US can sometimes seem like a nightmare, geographically, it is still a very beautiful place full of one-of-a-kind landmarks. You don't always have to explore outside our borders to see the world's beauty. Take a look at the wonders that you have in your own backyard like a king of Passport King. Peace.